I'd like to demonstrate now the use of near-field probes when probing and evaluating electronic circuits. This set is from Beehive Electronics and you can see that there are three sizes of H-field probe. The H-field probes are most sensitive to magnetic fields which you would expect from circuit traces and it does include an E-field probe which is most sensitive to electric fields. Now we'll be probing the ST Micro Electronics STM32 F4 discovery board which makes a nice uh, demo uh, board for practicing your troubleshooting techniques. I'll be using the middle size H-field probe and we'll be using the Siglant SSA3032X spectrum analyzer for our evaluation. I'm looking from 10 megahertz to 500 megahertz which is a very common range uh, for troubleshooting. So the first thing I do is uh, take the board and just probe around uh, to see where some of the high harmonic content is located. You can see a lot of uh, the digital noise uh, in the display here uh, as well as quite a bit of digital harmonic signals in this area here. So um, I'm going to put this down and just probe around and show you um, just some different areas on this board. Right in here you can see the, um, the main clock frequency of 270 megahertz is uh, really the dominant frequency in narrowband. Now the difference be between narrowband and broadband is, is this. Broadband is actually where, when the noise all the noise level all pumps up here. Narrowband is these narrow spikes. So broadband noise is generally caused by uh, digital switching, for example, address and memory bus activity or switching mode power supplies that are on your circuit board. You can see quite a bit of, um, uh, now this is all narrow band signals, but uh, there's certainly a lot of it there. Now there's two crystal oscillators, both 8 megahertz, one here and one here. And um, so a lot of these harmonics are probably generated from the 8 megahertz. We can flip the board over and probe some of the um, some of the main processor chips. Now you can see here we've got a combination of broadband. See, uh, here's the noise level uh, in the ambient state. When I bring the probe closer and closer, you can see that jump up about 20 dB. So there's uh, that's a very noisy chip there, and you can see that the the main clock is still the dominant narrowband signal. Now here's the memory chip and uh, it's it's also very high um, broadband uh, noise plus some specific harmonics. Now these specific harmonics may be the ones that are causing failures in your product. So what I would do is record each frequency that's dominant and um, and see whether there's any correlation between um, what I'm f probing around on the board and uh, where you might be failing the radiated emissions. Now it's not necessarily um, an issue if you uh, probe a particular spot here and we see that there's a high 270 megahertz that's not necessarily an issue unless that energy finds a way of coupling out to say a cable. And so let's let's start probing along the cable. We know there's a lot of noise in this area, but then probing the cable we see that it's, it's relatively quiet. We still see that 270 megahertz, 
but there's good filtering at the connector here. See the noise on one side of the connector and very little on the other side. And probing along this cable, we don't really see very much activity, so that's, that's a good sign. We do see a couple harmonics here, uh, so that's something to take a look at and see if we can't reduce. Notice the cable does have a ferrite choke here, which should choke off some of those signals. Uh, now we're seeing the 270 megahertz, for example, on, on the board side of this choke. Well, let's go over on this side and we see that it's a lot less. There's probably a 10 dB difference between one side of the choke and the other. So we know that that choke is working at 270 megahertz. So that's just a brief demonstration of what I would do uh, for probing. Uh, probing is more important for uh, cataloging um, some of the dominant signals and seeing if they correspond or are related to uh, actual signals that are radiated.